Hi guys, welcome back to another progress vlog. So today I'll be making the Windmaster from Heaven Official's Blessing. Haven't created a Don May character in a while. And starting off with the legs, I'm using white yarn. I'm also then attaching on this skirt. It's in green and it's called Green Lagoon by Impeccable. I'm then switching up for the rest of the outfit or the chest area using white yarn. And then the rest of the head, I'm using Magnolia Way. By crafter secret for the skin color for his eyes i'm giving him green lagoon for the iris and then black eyelids which i'm using pointy cornered eyes because i believe his character is like a more feminine type of god which if you know you know but yeah this is the overall update so far i'm gonna try to simplify his details while hopefully still capturing all the important stuff so yeah i'll be back with the next video hi guys welcome back to another update i did pretty much the bottom half of the body so first off i'm creating this belt that wraps around the waist i'm using the color spa by I Love This Yarn, created a little long strap, and then took my Honey Yarn by Yarn Bee, and then glued it directly down the middle with fabric glue, and then I used fabric glue to wrap it around the waist area and secure it in place. After that, I'm creating these little flaps using white yarn, which I'm going to be calling them four flaps to keep it, you know, self-explanatory. But the cool thing about this is that each flap is different than the other one, and for the details, I'm using the color Spa, which I then glue it onto the flaps. So for example, the front flap has like the most detail detailed. It has like two little lines that go on each side of the panel and then these little squiggly lines that are glued down on the middle. I basically simplified the design so it, it looks pretty abstract. And then you have two of the panels, the flaps that are on the side of the waist. They pretty much mirror each other in terms of the design and they only have like one little yarn strand that's glued on one side. And then for the back, I also simplified the design for this one as well. I glued on a little V shape on the upper half of the flap, which then makes it look kind of like an envelope. And that one goes on directly on the back side. After everything is glued in place underneath the belt, I went ahead and took my honey yarn again, went back to the belt area, and on this side right here, I went ahead and glued on a little circle to complete the design. Directly on the other side, I went ahead and took my fire red yarn by I Love This Yarn, I chained it, and then took this green yarn called Fern by Impeccable, and then I glued it directly over the chain one to create like the little circular plate thing. I'm not sure what it's called, but it goes directly on the tassel. And then for the bottom strand, I took a dog brush and then brushed it out. So that way it creates like the look of a tassel with the strands all flared open. Hopefully that looks kind of like a tassel. And then I simply glued that on top of the belt. I also gave him two arms. They're using skin color. And then the rest of the sleeves are worked with Green Lagoon. Since I think the colors of his inner layer is a darker green. And the outer sleeves that I created separately will be white. Hi guys, welcome back to another update. So I went ahead and finished off the upper half of the body around the chest area. So right here, this long strand, I'm going to be calling it the collar, which I'm using the color Green Lagoon. I chained it, wrapped it around the neck, and then stabbed the ends into the body with my broken felt tip needle. And I then took my fabric glue and then glued it down onto the chest area to secure it in place. After that, I went ahead and took my honey yarn, which I glued it onto the collar area with two little pieces to complete off the detail. And then we have like two little more strands on each side of the collar, which I'm using the color spa and it's simply just a long strip going from the arm and downwards into the belt area two little straight lines and i glued it on with fabric glue this is everything in terms of the inner layer or the top layer and as i said before i also went ahead and created two little sleeves using white yarn so these are like the same sleeves that i created for shielin and here's what the body looks like so far right on the front side the back side and then the sleeves are of course removable and then they simply just kind of go on just like this and wow do i feel like it is super bulky oh my gosh but they do have very long sleeves and it's just super bulky on this doll so yeah <laughs> i think in terms of the accuracy and the length i think it is supposed to be this long and this is what we got so far and also the hair cap, I'm using the color Coffee by I Love This Yarn. I'm giving him four inner rounds and four outer rounds and then glued it on to secure it. I'll be back with the next update for the Hi hair. Guys, welcome back to the next update for the hair. If you want to know how to make your own anime style hairs like I do in this video, links to my Niki hair tutorial pattern in the description box below along with the other base body patterns. And as usual, I'm starting off with the bangs right here. I'm using the color Coffee, same as the hair cap. And all of this right here are 12 chains on the top part. So for like certain 12 chains, I simply like curve the ends together kind of bent it so that way it creates like a certain shape and creates like a little bump same for this one as well this one i placed it with the back side up and then i kind of bent it downwards and have the pins place it down 
And same thing with this one, we have the back side facing upwards, have the little tail curved upwards on this side, and I simply fold it in the front part. We got another 12 chain on this side, and these are two little slip stitch strands which go right next to the corner of his eyes. And I just kind of hide like the top part with the hair strand. And same thing for the other side, this one's also pretty much next to the corner of the eye, and this hair strand covers the top of that. So that way when you turn on the side, you don't really see it connecting to the hair cap, which I will then glue on later. And then for the back side, it's going to be pretty much like Shielin's hair. We have these half double crochet strands and they are simply placed along the third from the bottom round of the hair cap. And I try to make it to where the hairs are more even on the back side. I also place it down to where the back side is facing outwards. So that way the hair strands won't be like flaring outwards because if I place it from the front side, it tends to curl outwards and we don't want that. If I place on backwards, it actually stays in place better, which is something I realized after creating a bunch of dolls with long hair. And I also added on this red little mark on his forehead using Fire Red Yarn by I Love This Yarn. And so far, this is the current update. So here's his little bun, which I crocheted already. And also like Shilian's, his bun is coffee and it switches out to the color silver. And here I created this little slip stitch strand called the bun stick. So you have the bun and this is the bun stick. So what I'm gonna do is fill up the bun with some stuffing. And then what I'm gonna do is place on the bun stick and try to get it as even as possible and then place the bun over it. And then I'll take the long strand and then sew it around the head. So that way you have the bun and then you have like the little, of course, this is supposed to be like the crown, but I'm creating little separate pieces for it. So that way you know how to attach it on. And I'll be back with the final update. Hi guys, welcome back to the final update for the hair. So after doing the front part and the back side, here I attach on the bun. So this piece right here is called the bun. This little piece right here is called the bun stick. And then this very top part right here, this little rectangle is called the crown. So yeah, I had like a little long strand of silver yarn and then I sewed it on top of the third inner ring of the hair cap. So you count from the center, one, two, three. And then on that third one, right on top in the middle, so I try to make it even as possible and then place down the bun stick. So here's what that looks like. The bun stick is kind of more towards the front rather than in the middle, just so that way when you look at it from the front side, or at least the top part, you can like kind of see it better. And because this is the placement that I did for Shailian's bun, I also decided to do it the same thing for the Windmaster, just different colors. His crown, I think, is silver. At least that's what the reference I'm using from the Donghua and Star Embers version of Windmaster. And that's my version of his simplified crown. I glued on the little crown piece and I sewed on the bun and the bun stick. I think it's pretty simplified. I tried to style it to where it's a little bit more fancy, a little bit more wavy than Shielin's bangs. His bang, he has more of a larger side bang red than Shielin's. And it's also more like towards the side, over on the side. It starts off on the side and it goes over. And the other side is smaller. And yeah, these little curl strands right here, they're a little bit larger as well. And of course, his whole outfit is a lot more detailed than Shielian's because of his higher status in the heavens. And yeah, thanks to those who donate to me monthly on Ko-fi as it really helps fund my supplies. And I'll be back with another progress vlog soon. Bye!